What's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. My name is Hunter. If you are new here, welcome to the channel where we talk about all things crypto stocks, tech, and more importantly, how to make you money, bringing you another great video on Royal.io. This is a project that's been under the radar. This thing hasn't even launched fully. Basically, this is a Royal NFT play. This is the next narrative in crypto as I always wanna make sure you guys are capturing as much upside as possible. Definitely make sure to subscribe and drop a like to stay up to date and start making some nice gains within crypto. Let's get into the video and throughout the video, I will be dropping some alpha on their main investors and there are some huge backers in this project and they do have a great team. We are looking at their homepage where you can invest in artists and share their success. This is brand new tech and I think this is really gonna become mainstream as all these artists want to steer away from their labels and support their fans and there's never been a better way to do that through the use of non-fungible tokens. So what is Royal? Royal is a platform where you can buy ownership in songs directly from your favorite artists and earn royalties with them. So how it works, artists sell ownership, musicians use Royal to sell ownership in their songs and fan experiences, collectors buy ownership, collectors can purchase ownership in songs directly from their favorite artist, and they can rise together. As collectors receive royalties for their songs they buy, when artists grow and everyone wins. And Blau is one of the main founders of this project, which is a huge, incredible artist. If you have not heard of him, uh, you definitely will as you look into this project. So this is actually super exciting news too, just to see how much hype is already started within this project. So Blau announced winners that were from their early access contest to gain royalties in Blau's new track called Worst Case. And they launched this basically on OpenSea. I'm gonna show you right here just to get you excited. So look at this. These were given to 333 people for free that were basically most active on the royalties site, right? All they were doing was engaging and look at the floor price. Almost four Ethereum, what is that around? Four times four, around sixteen to seventeen thousand dollars currently right now, and I do think ETH is going to push a little bit higher heading into December. So you would have made incredible returns just from being active on their platform. And as you can see here, here are basically different tracks from the songs, and then every single NFT they basically take the main digital album cover and basically generate unique ones, so everyone has their own unique nft basically image to display so it is very interesting now i'm going to dive in a little bit further and give you guys some more in-depth details on the project so here we are last week 333 winners started minting their first royal assets the collection of 333 unique ar unique artworks also represents 50 percent ownership in the streaming royalty rights of blau's newest song worst case which is absolutely insane because to be honest this is unheard of so there is the original album cover right and i did show you guys those different ones as they want to make every holder unique and feel like they have a special image that represents their basically portion of the song so diving a little bit further in conjunction with the royal io soft launch they ran a contest that ranked the top 333 users based on their number of successfully converted referrals to the platform the royal team did not announce a prize at all but users could track their position and monitor their influence on their leaderboards generating enormous hype around joining the movement the team's goal was to test a principle that rings true to all creativity most people today can only invest with their attention, but are rarely compensated for providing their time or their social distribution and coincidental positive network effects. A few weeks later, as reward for the community support and helping Royal gain 120, 120,000 unique accounts, they announced a surprise for those 333 users who made the top cut. The first Royal LDA, basically Blau's first worst case song on their platform, which was free to mint and distributed to self-hosted wallets of winners. Things got pretty crazy after that, as there were many basically spams and dupe accounts, blowing up accounts, trying to get into this drop, but luckily the team managed that. So diving a little bit further here, this past Royal was born, this past May, Royal was born and four months later, they launched the first product, the LDA, which stands for Limited Digital Asset. 
This week marks a special moment as it's the first time they can observe how an open market prices ownership in music as art and ownership of rights in that music. So here is a little in-depth look at the platform, right? So you can see here, early access. This is very early and this is why I'm bringing this to you guys. They have a marketplace here, they have a dashboard and they have all the information about the artist, the addition, the ownership on the top right, tokens minted, contract address and legal and you can view the collection and also play your snippet of the song. Now this is where it gets very, very exciting. So here we are on TechCrunch and looking at the basically the headline, right? NFT music rights startup Royal Bank's $55 million investment led by A16Z Crypto. If you don't know who A16Z is, I'm gonna show you right now and I think you'll be pretty happy once you learn who they are. So less than three months after announcing a $16 million seed round led by Founders Fund and Paradigm NFT Music Group right startup, Royal has raised another major round of funding, banking a 55 million Series A from Anderson Horwitz crypto investment arm. If you don't know who Anderson Horwitz is, they are an incredible, incredible investment firm. In my opinion, they are one of the best and have been around for a long time. When you see that, to me, it's it's already become a very vetted project. So now diving a little bit further, the startup partners with musicians and allows users to buy NFTs, which represent collective ownership and works from those artists. The effort is helmed by Justin Blau, an EDM artist, which is goes by Blau, and JD Rose, who is the co-founder of Open Door. If you aren't familiar with Open Door, I promise you've seen their ads on your TV stations. They basically buy the homes. They're gonna basically destroy realtors one day. This guy is an absolute genius, so I love that someone who was a co-founder of Open Door is leading and basically has a huge seat at the table within Royal.io. So a little bit further here, we already touched on that. And here is the information on A16Z. So basically, ATZ16 is led by Katie Hahn who sits on the board of Coinbase and NFT marketplace OpenSea. The firm already has a deep relationship with Royal's executive team, having previously backed Ross's last company, Opendoor. This is huge, huge news, you guys. Nathan Jones, a former Anderson Horowitz partner who led the team Talents X Opportunity Fund, also joined Royal in September as the firm's head of growth. Joining alongside A16Z Crypto are a number of musical artists, including the Chainsmokers, Nas, Logic, and Kygo. Also, we do have Coinbase Ventures, Founders Fund, and Paradigm also participated in their funding round. So honestly, I have not seen that much alpha within investors in a project for a long, long time. So you may be asking what Royal intends to do with that $55 million investment. What they intend to do with it is invest in the growth of their ecosystem as they want to push north of 120,000 artists from household names to up and comers who have applied to the platform since late August per executives. Royals artist submission pages include 15 questions relating to music ownership, figures, distribution, uh, specifics and more and just so you can get an idea if you are looking to basically invest in the project or even learn more about it and sign up this is just an idea of how well the first drop by Blau went like we touched on the 333 giveaway basically and the tokens have traded over six hundred fifty thousand dollars in the secondary market so in my opinion this is a huge success for their very first launch that is still flying under the radar I love bringing you guys these early videos. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Any support is appreciated as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.